Captain from Chapter Command. Commander, this is Gabriel Angelos aboard the battle barge Litany of Fury. I have received word of the Tyranid threat facing Subsector Aurelia and of Captain Thule's grave condition. The Tyranids are a threat of unimaginable proportions, Commander. They are endless in number and intent on consuming whole worlds. The Litany of Fury is now making for Aurelia at all speed, but we are weeks away. I will relay all distress signals back to you while we devise a plan of attack. Commander, we have located Captain Thule's attacker. The warrior beast that you drove into the Badlands has resurfaced, leading a swarm of lesser Tyranids. This is our first chance to strike back at the Tyranid enemy and we cannot pass it up. Collecting samples from this creature's corpse may also lead to a cure for Captain Thule, and could give us valuable information on how to defeat the High Fleet. This area is heavily infested, Commander, so be prepared for heavy resistance. <laughs> creatures to disrupt the swarm. That will buy us the time to get to our target. Captain Thule will have his vengeance. Hostile.
generators are deployed now, Commander. Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. the beast. Destroy it! Carrie Gordian has dispatched servitors to collect and analyze the warrior's corpse. Our librarians have also consulted the more complete records aboard the Litany of Fury. With this information, we have devised a plan of attack against the High Fleet. Sin, be vigilant.
Tyranids have a simple and terrible agenda, Commander. Left unchecked, they will kill and consume every living thing on the planet. Our only hope of stopping the Tyranids is to strike at the heart of the Hive Fleet itself. For us to do this, you must first accomplish three critical tasks. You must locate and secure the astronomic array hidden on planet Typhon. Only its precise scans will allow us to analyze the Hive Fleet and locate its weaknesses. You must also obtain a sample of the Hive Fleet's biotoxins. Only a pure gene sample will allow us to develop a poison to strike at the Hive Fleet. And you must secure access to Angel Forge on planet Meridian. Only this ancient forge's vast manufacturing capabilities will allow us to produce weapons with which to deliver our poison. Each of these tasks pits your handful against untold billions. But failure means the utter annihilation of our worlds. And a death sentence for our chapter. Commander. We need to take direct control of Angel Forge. I'm authorizing you to travel to Meridian. The planetary governor has been less than cooperative thus far, so be prepared for bureaucratic resistance. Angelos out.